Hello, so today um, I'm going to be working on some monoprints on tissue paper that I've rediscovered. They've been in a drawer for a while. Uh, I'm not sure what the next steps were. I wasn't sure what to do with them. But I've rediscovered them. I actually really like certain parts of them. Um, so I think just a bit more work, a bit more definition will really help. So in this session, I'm going to be working in a very painterly way. Um, I'm going to be putting ink onto my plastic surface as if I'm painting and then taking the ink off. Uh, and then I'm also going to be uh, rolling ink also onto um, the pieces themselves, directly onto them. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel uh, and you'll get notified uh, every time a video comes out. Um, you can also uh, join one of my workshops or my e-course by going to my website, ruthander.co.uk. And if you just want to see what I do, then you can follow me on Instagram at ruthanderprints. So I've rediscovered these uh, monoprints uh, that I put in a drawer for a long time. Um, this is monoprint on tissue paper, so it's really light paper. Um, and what I've done is I've rolled ink out onto a flat surface, my usual plastic, which I've got here. Uh, I've made some marks in it and then I've put the paper on top, pressed onto the back and taken the ink off. So I've done that lots of times for each different colour. And... Um, I want to work a little bit more on these. Um, I'd like to put some darks in here. I'm going to put some quite gestural dark marks in at the bottom, I think. Um, and then I've got this one here as well, which I've rediscovered. These quite fly away on the tissue, but there is quite strong paper. Um, yeah, so here, love all this stuff going on. This kind of weather and rain and all that kind of stuff. But I think what it really needs is a little bit of something down here it's just a bit plain down here so i'm gonna have fun i think and just add some more color some more tone see if i can get these really good okay so the first thing i'm going to do is um just make some quite painterly marks with this dark slightly purple color So I'm just going to be quite free and easy. I'm just going to, as if I'm painting, but without a paintbrush. And if I don't like something, I'll just wipe it off. Um, So this is how simple tissue, you know, monoprinting on tissue paper can be. I'm just going to lay the paper over the top because I can see kind of where through the paper a little bit where I want it to be. Oops. Just going to move that a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, be honest I've probably got enough ink on there that I can just use my hands. I think I might uh, use a baron as well. I'm just going to use a piece of scrap paper over the top and get my baron and press down onto the back. I use scrap paper with tissue quite often because if you, you know, if you get a piece of um, grit or something underneath your burnisher, your baron, then you can rip the paper quite easily. Okay, and then we peel away. All right, well, that's definitely added some darks. Difficult to hold it up there. There we go, we've got some darks in there. Well, I'm not loving the marks, but um, it's really added something, I think. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to use that ink um, for... I'm going to darken down the bottom of the other print. So I think what I'm going to do, though, I'm actually going to roll it on with a roller. I'm going to use my big roller here. And just, it doesn't 
actually even have to be a particularly even layer. Um, sometimes when it's not that even on your roller, it can actually be quite nice. So you get unexpected marks. Now I've got something on my roller. I'm going to be able to get that off. Okay, I'm just going to cover that up so that I don't get ink on the back. Okay, and I'm just going to roll it over. Now, this is rolling ink onto dry ink, very dry ink, several layers of it. So actually, not much is, is getting on there. So I need, it's quite subtle, quite nice, but um, I think I'm going to need to put some more ink on the roller. So let's get that going. So when I put wet on wet, it really takes the ink up beautifully and does all sorts of interesting things. Dry on dry is different. The sorry, wet on dry is different. Um, the ink will just sit on top of the dry. The wet ink will sit on top of the dry ink, um, which can be amazing and it's great for highlights, for whites and, and things like that. And it will it won't merge and it won't become muddy, so it's great. Um, but you do need a bit more ink to do it. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, in fact, I might just roll down the page as well. Ah, there we go. I've got some lovely marks coming up there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but where it's actually quite uneven, it's come out, it's kind of really added something beautiful to the piece. And I'm going to put a little bit more on that, I think. Although I'm tempted to leave that, you know, you know knowing when to stop is one of the best things <laughs> to know. I'm actually starting to get some nice marks on my scrap paper as well. <laughs> Let's see what else it will do. Okay, one more time. I think actually the scrap paper, um, creases in the scrap paper are kind of coming through when I roll, and it's no bad thing actually. Yeah, there we go. You can see the, um, the crease marks there just in the corner there. But I quite like that, it's adding something interesting. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on that piece now. And I'm going to roll some sort of soft pinky, orangey pink on there. Uh, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to roll it onto my roller and then straight onto the tissue paper. So I'll just get that going. I'm trying to get the um, feel of the Seven Estuary, which often is full of silt, which is like mud held in the water. And it reflects all sorts of different light and it looks different in different lights and it often looks quite red or pink and sometimes it looks really quite bright green like really bright green which I'm going to put some on um, so that's why um, I like these bright colours for seascapes I don't know if it's an estuary thing or a seven estuary thing but um, it's, uh, it's really beautiful okay now, I haven't got any scrap paper underneath this, so this will probably be a uh, sort of flatter colour, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to pick a bit, though, because I actually quite like all of this. I don't want to cover up lots of it. Um, let's try here.
Okay, so I'm getting some really subtle pink in there. Which is really beautiful actually. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to add some really bright, almost like neon-y green, yellow green, and I'm going to be quite specific with it. Um, I'm going to just have a horizon line, and that might smudge a little bit, um, but that is often, it's, I mean, it's partly because um, in real life on the estuary, when the sun shines, on a little patch of it, it often does look really, really bright yellow or green. And again, that's the silt in, in the water. But I also think it's gonna make the whole piece just zing out. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting a line of the ink out and I'm just rolling it so it's fairly even. And I'm not putting much out because I, when I do this technique, which is basically just drawing onto the back of a piece of tissue to get the ink off, um, you don't want loads of ink because it will just sort of splurge all over the picture where you don't want it. But really, yeah, there we go. Okay. Now it's not going to print like this. I'm going to draw onto the back of the paper and that will pick up just where I've drawn, hopefully. Um, now because this is um, tissue paper, I can see on the back of it so I can see where I'm going to be um, doing my horizon line. So I'm going to gently, oh, what I don't want though, I don't want it here on my sort of rainy tissue, I don't, I don't want it to go there. So I'm just going to make a little mark on the back where I want to stop and not do, just with a pencil. Um, not put any horizon line. Okay, I've done that. Okay, so what I do here actually is I just do a gentle fold. Tissue paper is great actually because even if you do fold it a bit too much, it, it doesn't have a memory, it doesn't stay. So um, you can then just unfold it again and it won't really be creased or you can at least spread the creases out. Okay, so I'm going to use a ruler here and I'm going to just lay that gently down and I'm going to use my, what am I going to use? use my usual tool which is my knife. I'm going to use the uh, the non-sharp bit because the sharp bit might actually rip the paper. So I'm just going to go along the line here quite gently. Okay and I'm just going to see what that's done. Okay. Oh. Do you know what? I managed to get it through the bit that I didn't want to get it through. But actually, I like it. I really like it. So I'm going to leave it. And it's kind of merged. That, that yellow has merged with the red. It's merged with the purple. And it's really making the piece happen now. So this is what the pieces look like at the end of the session. This one's looking really atmospheric now um, and really quite different to the way it started out, even though I haven't actually added that much in. And then this one here, again, just really one, one big dark mark has kind of changed the whole composition and is drawing the eye in quite a different way and adding a lot more movement and a lot more gesture. 